Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. I hope everyone is doing well. Mia just instantly jumped out of the chair the second I started recording and she's already on me. But hey, that's what puppies are all about. Do you want to say hello real fast? Do you want to say good morning to everyone? Okay, come here. Let mommy pick you up. You're getting so heavy. Oh my goodness. She is getting so big. I can barely. There she is. There is Miss Mia. Already been a firecracker and a troublemaker. You got sleepy in your eyes. Yes, I do love you very much. You're getting to be so big. Look at the size of those paws. She is not even four months old yet. <laughs> So I think she's going to be a big girl. Yeah, you're going to be a big girl. But mommy's got to do her Dollar Tree haul, okay? So you have to say bye, everybody. Okay? You got to let mommy do her work now. Okay, we'll see how well this goes now. She's got slobber on my glasses. Okay, brand new Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. All right, let's start with some things that kind of are a little bit boring, but we use around our household. This is Dial Himalayan Salt in the 7.5 fluid ounces. So brand name. I really like the way this, sm this soap smells. And I also like the way it makes my hands feel when I'm done washing them. They're not sticky. They don't feel like there's a film on them. So I appreciate that. I then finally came across the holiday soaps. I think she took off with my Rizzo again. Oh my gosh. Okay. These are uh, the same ones they had last year. They are mixed berry scented for the snowman. It's in a 10.7 ounce plastic container. So when the soap runs out, there's no need to throw this away. You can refill it with your favorite soap. If you don't happen to like the soap that's in there, you know, dump it out if you have to or want to, or, you know, do something else with it and put your favorite scent in there. But I think these are always cute to have around the household, um, pretty much just for fun, you know, for decorative purposes. So they have the snowman. I also found the Christmas tree. And there's the Christmas tree. They are pump bottles. And this one is fresh pine scented. They're all 10 ounces. I also found Father Christmas, AKA Santa Claus. And Santa Claus is in a cranberry scented. There he is all the way around. Last but not least, and definitely my favorite. I love gingerbread men and gingerbread boys and gingerbread women and gingerbread girls and gingerbread, gingerbread, gingerbread. And this happens to be cinnamon gingerbread scented. And the tag is kind of, there we go. Let me get it out of the way a little bit better. There we go. And there's your gingerbread. Isn't it adorable? So cute. And I know it's kind of, you can kind of see through it a little bit. So I apologize for that. The uh, view isn't all that great. In the section for beauty, I needed some more of the um, anti-plank rinse. And this is the 13.5 ounce. This is Reach, which is a brand name. It's also purple. <laughs> That's not the only reason I use it, but Reach has been out there for a long time. So I've used that in my household for a while. Saw these new Band-Aids. I thought, wow, where are these when I'm always falling down? These are extra large bandages. They're 1.9 inch by 4 inches. You get 14 in the package. And these are like really good size. These are like big ends. When I fall down and go boom, I go boom really hard. Um, for... This is a great price. These are good Band-Aids. They are, compared to the Band-Aid brand, they're the exact same, everything. It even says it on the box. Um, so these are a nice size. And you get quite a few, actually, for the dollar. Picked up a package of the Simply Soft Cotton Rounds. There's 80 to a package. I noticed that they changed their packaging a little bit. It's more on the pinkish side now. If um, any of you do use these, the packaging used to be like green and white. I use these for all kinds of things, especially taking off makeup. They're perfect for that. Then I found a few new lip glosses. These are so cute. Okay, now, these are scented and not flavored. The first one is berry scented. They have so many tags on here, but 
The first one is berry scented. Great for stocking stuffers. The next one I have here is vanilla scented. And then it's got like a pink shimmer gloss in there. This one is cherry scented, perfect for gift baskets or stocking stuffers. I would build stocking stuffers and gift baskets all day long if, if somebody would let me. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Strawberry scented, but it's a unicorn -y. Oh, my favorite, of course. And the gloss that's inside is like a purple gloss. So I was super psyched to find that. All right, so uh, let me just finish up the beauty section, actually, because I really don't have that much more. I found these new gel polishes. Wow, are they pretty. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I found nine different ones. So the first one, it says that these are made by Eye Glow. Each bottle is 0 0.45 ounces. And it says gel effect, no UV light needed. So this first one, is it gonna give me a number, a color? Oh, I'm just gonna show you the color because I'm not seeing any numbers or anything for indicators. First was this color right here. I'll move it to the side so you can see it, which is a pretty color to apply over a darker color. If you want a little bit of shimmer, usually around this time of the year, um, you know, if you're in a place where you have fall and winter, you're starting to get into the fall types of colors. They also have this beautiful, it to me, it's like a, a satiny blue, but there it is. There's the front of it. Really pretty. Then they had this one, which is like a silver glitter. And looks like that. And then I'll turn it to the side so you can see all the bling going on in there. What a great score for like a beauty basket. This would have been perfect for Halloween, but could still be used through the whole month of November. Um, look at this orange. But it's got like this glimmer in there. Isn't that pretty? Then they had this gold, which I think is perfect for Christmas or New Year's. And there it is. I don't know how many there were. There were, I just found nine. So I don't know if this is the whole set. I'm really not sure. Then I found this emerald green. It looks emerald green to me anyways. Look at that. That's a beautiful color. And this pink one here that reminds me of flamingo or I should say of a flamingo. Christmas red, absolutely gorgeous. And then my favorite, of course it's gonna be purple. Love this purple, it's like a lilac with some glimmer in it. I'm gonna probably put some of this on tonight since I have little stubbies going on right now until I can get my nails done. All right, so that is it for the beauty section. And where is she? Oh, she's sleeping on the couch. Okay, when it's quiet, I gotta find out where she is or there's trouble going on. Okay, let's go into a couple fun finds I found for Christmas. Fun finds I found for Christmas. Good thing I have um, more coffee in my coffee pot. Okay. This was really pretty. This is a reusable tote. It's 17 and a half inches by 13 and a half inches. And it's Santa Claus. Look at that. It's one, you know, like I said, you can wipe it off. It's reusable. Let's see if it has anything on the sides. No, it does not, but it does have a coordinating blue. And that's the same on both sides. Cute, cute, cute. I didn't see any other designs, but I grabbed this Santa Claus and then you have these red handles to go with it. All right, while we're in Christmas, I found some more gift boxes. 
I showed you in, I think, either the last Dollar Tree or the Dollar Tree before, I showed you some boxes with Nomi's on them, and they were like the t-shirt boxes. Now, I found some more boxes with Nomi's, and these are, you get five boxes, and it looks to me like there's maybe two sets of Nomi boxes in here. Um, one's got kitty cats, Patty, there you go, Mary, there's your kitty cats. These are five by five, so perfect size because they're going to pop up in a square to put a Christmas mug or some type of holiday mug. This is exactly why I got these because I do have some mugs that I'm going to be shipping out. Oh, wait, my box opened. So here, let's check it out. It was meant to be. You know how they used to give you cheat sheets? But they don't do that much anymore. Okay, so let me show you how these work. Well, of course, let me get the Nomi one out. All right, so these are kind of cool. This is what you get basically in the package. I guess I should show you that first. I'm sorry. All right, so you're going to get Nomi's, Kitty Cats, and it's on the front and the back. You've got uh, Kitty Cats and um, puppies riding in cars, towing presents. You have llamas and unicornies. And then you have, it looks like some kind of dinosaurs. All right, so each one comes with a matching top. But of course, I'm gonna build the Nomi one. So they all have colored tops. Here's the Nomi one. So let's see, we're gonna open it up from the bottom. Spread that apart and then obviously lock it down on the bottom. Put your tissue, put whatever it is you, that you would like to put in here. Oh, I love this. Okay, so there's your box. I'm mug big time. Put some tissue paper down there, put some shred in there. And then your top has this little design there. I'm gonna place it right on top of the box here. I'm going to try to place it right on top of the box. Obviously, it's easier when something's in it. How perfect would this be with a Nomi mug for somebody? I'm just saying. All right, I think those are really cool. I love the fact that you can interchange your tops if you wanted to. You don't have to, but you could if you wanted to. I think that's just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, staying in the Christmas department here for a little bit. I did come across some new treat bags. These are treat bag sacks. So what they basically have is they're all like a, they're plastic, but they almost have a frosty effect. Effect. And what you have on these is, let me see if I can open one up. Hold on. It's much easier to open it up and show you. So at the top, they have basically like twist ties that you would get in the store to twist your bread, stuff like that. So here you go. This is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna put your goodies inside the bag, whether it be cookies or whatever it may be. You're then gonna close your bag. You're then gonna take your tie. You're gonna flip it over a couple of times. I would usually flip it over at least two or three times, depending on how much treat you got in there. And then you're just gonna bend one side over, bend another side over, and voila, whatever you got in there that's goody is yummy in my tummy. So I found snow Santa Claus. I did find snowmen, which I think are so cute. Again, you get eight in a package. They're five inches by nine inches by three inches. There are the snowmen. And then, are you ready? No, bees! <laughs> Eight in a package, look at the Nomi's. Oh my gosh, of course, I had to get two packages of those. But I found another treat sack and I did get a couple of them because I do a lot of treat sacks. There's 15 in a package and it says Nomi for the holidays. Isn't that adorable? So these treat sacks are a little bit different these actually give you, they're going to give you the little twist ties, but
but these bags are shaped differently. So they're shaped like this. You're gonna fill your treats in and then you're gonna close the bag like that. I don't tend to use these very often. What I do is I end up just tying ribbon around there and then shredding it and making it curl. And I'm quite happy with that. All right, these were so adorable. I'm kicking myself because I didn't think they were gonna be like all that great, but I found these little ear muffs and I was like, okay, maybe they'll fit over my head, maybe they won't, but I'll give them a try and if not, I'll send them to my niece. But I tried them on and I ain't no Barbie doll, but I gotta tell you, there is so much fluff and padding in these that I was like having to lift it up to here. So mind you, this is just a stupid tag. I'm leaving it there. I'm gonna turn this back and lay this part on my head, I guess. But I was like, oh my gosh, how fun. And these actually, I mean, they do muffle the sound. I mean, of course I have a big mouth, but they actually feel warm. So, hey, rolling with my homies. All right, moving on. Um, let's go to, I only have one food item this time. And that was this bonus size. Oh my God, I used to love eating this stuff when I was a kid, but the prizes were so much better back then. It's an 8.5 ounce Cracker Jacks. Who doesn't love Cracker Jacks? Yum. You know, they used to have such cool prizes. You would get like a ring or stuff like that. These are good until May 3rd of 2022. So these are big gun bags, 8.5 ounces. You can't beat it. So I did, and they are the original Cracker Jacks. I picked up a couple because not only do I enjoy it, but Grandpa enjoys it too. So I'll be passing some of those on to him. Okay, from this point forward, these are more like little toys and treats for not only some of my donations, um, but for other things as well. So this first thing I found, I mean, how genius is this? And people are buying it, like me, I bought three of them. <laughs> so first of all, I had to look at it twice in the store and I'm like, are you kidding me? Who thought of this? Anyways, it's bubble wrap sheets. You get 12 in a package and they're called stress sheets. So this is what the front of the package looks like. The way you open it looks like you would a fabric softener box. So I'm gonna open this for all of you. Let me see. So there's like um some perforation on the top. So let me open this carefully because I don't wanna ruin the packaging. I think this is so hysterical. I would totally put one of these on my desk and let my coworkers come up and just, you know, all right, so that's about as far as it lets you open it. So I'm just gonna take it and bend it back a little. Bear with me, I'm just gonna lay it on the breakfast nook here and bend it back. And then I would be like leaving that on my desk. And so what you do is you just pull out a little sheet <laughs> and it's bubbles that you pop. I thought it was just funny as funny but you know what it doesn't take much to get me going but i just think it's something fun it's a great gag gift and for a dollar you get 12 of them so i did get a couple i just thought they were funny as heck you know it's like the pet rock okay um these were kind of cool i found a couple different ones and i thought these would be perfect for my toys for tots kids Let's see, I found several different ones. Okay, these are made by Airdo, and evidently it says mess-free, gluten-free, non-toxic, well, gluten-free, I would hope you're not eating it. There. Okay, anyways, it says won't stick to fabric or carpet, Dries overnight, mess-free, gluten-free, non-toxic, gluten-free. Why are they telling you it's gluten-free? Do you eat it? Oh, I don't know. Okay, so anyways, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Again, it's made by Airdo. 
I guess I don't understand the point of the gluten-free. I guess I need to check that out for just a little bit. They also offer a website that you can go out and check their video to how to make these. So I found this one in a penguin. I found this in a bulldog. And I know whatever's inside is really squishy and soft. I came across this, which is a avocado advocate avocado advocate on the back it shows you how to put it together you know this does say ages three and up but i won't practice what i always preach and tell you but no i have to say it now you know your children better than anybody else you know you go by what your child um and what you feel comfortable last but not least and i got a couple of these because i want to send one to my sister because this was too funny it is a unicorn but it, it just looks like it looks like a flying pig unicorn <laughs> maybe that's just my opinion does not look like a flying pig unicorn i'm just messing around here's what the back of it looks like so i did get a couple of those um because i try to get something for the boys and the girls okay now um i came across some more of these um orb sensories but this one's these ones are different they have like this um plastic piece and you get it's really hard to show so let me open one up um i know there's one here that has purple on it somewhere it doesn't matter let me just open one up to show you so these are called orb sensory fidget poppers and of course i have no scissors here Oy! Bear with me, everybody. Really? 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 <sighs> Excuse me, I'm gonna get some scissors. I just literally walked away. How rude am I? You can see back there where she makes a little pile of herself very comfortable. Okay, so let me open this up. And there it is. So evidently when you push these in and you turn them around, they make this popping noise. Um, I do have a couple of my nieces and nephews um, that this helps with them. They, um, we have some autism that runs in the family and these definitely help. So I grabbed a few of them. I found some in the blue, like I just showed you. I found some with, you know, white with different colors. Um, some of the blues had different colors. Some of the whites had different colors. Like this one's got a purple on it. If you can see through the back side right there, this one's got a purple on it and a green. So I grabbed a few different ones, um, not only for giveaways, but I was thinking, you know, I always do giveaways for grown-ups, And I was thinking that, you know, since I love to play with all the toys at Dollar Tree, I was thinking of possibly doing, besides my fall box, which keep your eyes open, that's coming up. I gave you guys a sneak peek of what's going in there. We're gonna have a Christmas box. And I thought of maybe also doing a giveaway for um, a boy and a girl and make it like about toys and things. Let me know what you think down below, okay? All right, then I came across these little squishy balls. They're made by Bright Squash and it says stick them, squish them, stretch them. So sticky, but not messy. So I found one in this color. And I found one in this color. And evidently you can jiggle them, squish them. Well, you know, I have to open one up now. Let's see. Of course, I'm going to open the purplish one. I hope they're not going to make like all kinds of queefy fart noises, but we'll see. Um, okay. Well, if you ask me, that just looks like a booby. <laughs> Okay, so you can squeeze it. Mm. 
Does it stick to a wall? No. <laughs> I guess you can stretch it. It's just like a stress ball, I guess. But you know what? Sometimes you need something to yeah, make you feel better. All right, moving on. I'm so psyched about these. Uh, I'm, I'm like, I was doing the jig of glee. Okay, going back now, I'm going to show my age again. Who remembers Weebles? They were the little plastic characters that didn't sit flat on the ground. And the commercial used to be Weebles, Wobbles, but they don't fall down. You can look it up on internet. Well, I came across these little toys that are called Tippies. When I look at them, they are Weeble Wobbles, but just in a new generation, in my opinion. All right. So, they had a couple different sets. There is 10 in this first set. And they're approximately two inches in height. I'm not going to open any right now because I want to send a set to one of my family members in England who is a big Snoopy fan, has been all his life. So I was able to get a complete set of the Snoopies. Here we go. You get 10 different ones you can collect. The first one is this Snoopy right here. And if you see the bottom, and I'll do, um, I'll do a review if you guys want me to. I'll open up a couple and show you how they wibble. They just weeble wobble. They never fall down. You know, it's like those punching bags that you used to get with Bozo. Well, Bozo was a Chicago syndication. But those little sock em, po you know, little things you blow up and punch them and they come right back at you. All right. So, I got this Snoopy. Here is the whole set that you can collect. All right. I know it doesn't help too much there. That's the whole set. I was very fortunate to find one full set of Snoopy. So there is Snoopy number one. Here is Snoopy number two, and they all weeble wobble. Here is Snoopy number three, and you got Woodstock on top of his head. And then we have Woodstock all by himself. There's Woodstock. And then we have, of course, we need Charlie Brown. There's Charlie Brown. And then where's Miss Lucy? There's Lucy. And then we have... Peppermint Patty. Or is that Peppermint Patty? Wait a minute. Or is this Peppermint Patty? Oh my, I'm having a moment. Okay, well anyways, I got them both. There they are. There they are. Um, bup, bup. Of course, we cannot forever get Linus. And there's Linus. And last but not least, did I show you that one? No, we had one more Snoopy and it says Joe Cool. Are those adorable? Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So then I was digging through and I found another set of a whole different type of character. These happen to be, and I'm only missing one. I'm like, oh, almost got them all. Okay, this set is right here. This is Donald Duck. Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, couple of the chipmunks, Goofy. So here is that set. You get 10 in this set as well. I didn't find all 10, I'm just missing one. So let's start off with Mickey and Minnie. Minnie. Mickey. And then we have Chip and Dale. Now, if you look at them, they are different. You notice the red nose, black nose, the color tone of them are different as well. So we have Chip and Dale, and then we have Donald Duck. 
and Mrs. Donald Duck. How cute are these? And then we have Goofy. And where's the one that... I must have misplaced it somewhere. All right. Well, anyways, the one I'm missing is... Did I show that one to you all? I'm sorry. Oh, here it is. Okay. There's one of these. And then there's another one that's got something else on their hat, which looks like from down there. So I'm missing this one up there. So I'm missing one out of the 10. I'm like, ah! but I was so very fortunate to find what I did find. Last thing to show all of you and share with all of you, I found some new blind bags and these are minions. And these are like really big blind bags. And evidently it says, the um, Minions, The Rise of Gru, Splatums, and they're made by Battelle. I have no idea. I have not opened any yet. I did get a couple because I thought, you know what? Giveaways. Everybody loves the toys. Everybody loves the toys. All right. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this one for now. It looks like she found a place to crash on the couch, so I got to keep myself moving here. Until next time, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Many of you are asking me, how do I get into your giveaways? There is a video that's out that will tell you how to enter, but I'm going to do a brand new one to get you all updated. But the first and most important thing is you must be a subscriber. Please know I check my subscribers. I know when a subscriber subscribes. I know when they unsubscribe. I know if they resubscribe. I know all of that. Just like any YouTube channel owner, we know these things. So I check to make sure that you're subscribed. So that's an important thing for me. When I do giveaways, it's because it's something I want to give from my heart. My items are purchased by my money that I work for. And these things are randomly sent out to certain people for friend mails. And then... The giveaways and things like that are all random as well. You know, a winner gets picked and it's just my way of saying thank you to all of you for watching my channel. And that's as simple as it gets. Until next time, everybody. Bye-bye for now.